Hey guys, this is Jeremy with First Southern Baptist Church in Liberal, Kansas. I wanted to take a moment to share a worship thought from God's Word with you. Have you ever considered what the opposite of fear is? See, if I were to ask that question, I think many of us would come up with words like courage or boldness as the opposite of fear. But as I was reading recently in a devotional, I was pointed out, it was pointed out to me that God gives a little bit different definition for the opposite of fear. In Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, in verse 7, we read these words, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and of sound judgment. See, when Paul was writing to Timothy and encouraged him not to be afraid to share the gospel, not to be ashamed of Paul who was in prison because of the gospel, he said, God didn't give you a spirit of fear. No, he gave you a spirit of power and one of love and one of sound judgment judgment. So what kind of power has God given us instead of fear? When it says that the Spirit didn't give us a spirit of fear, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, we read these words, it says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and in all of Samaria to the ends of the earth. The early church was just getting started. Jesus had ascended back into heaven and the church didn't know exactly what to do. Jesus told them to wait in the upper room until the Holy Spirit came to them. And then they were told, you will receive power with the Holy Spirit. The power we have as Christians to do anything, to do anything in boldness and with courage comes from the fact that the Holy Spirit has dwelt inside of us, giving us God's Spirit in us to be powerful witnesses for Him in our local area and in the world all around us. We've been given power to share His love with others. What does the love of Jesus look like? He says He's given us a spirit of power, but also a spirit of love. In John chapter 13, uh, verse 35, we read these words. You've probably heard them before. It says, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Another picture of love that you could see is the idea of John 3.16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And then Philippians 2, we're encouraged to have the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus, who didn't consider equality with God something to be grasped, but he humbled himself to make a way for us. That type of self-sacrificing love is the gift, the spirit that the Holy Spirit's given us. He's given us a spirit of power to be able to be his witnesses. He's given us a spirit of love to be able to love others even more than ourselves. And then finally, he's given us a spirit of sound judgment. James chapter one in verse five, we read this. Um, now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. And the God of the universe has promised us that if we lack wisdom, if we lack sound judgment in a situation, that he is ready and willing to give us the knowledge and information we need to help us to make wise decisions, to be sound in our judgment. So it's not that we need to be just more bold or more courageous in life when we are feeling fearful. No, rather, instead of fear, we should focus on the power of the Holy Spirit that God has given us, the love that God has given us, and the opportunity for sound judgment that comes from knowing the one who created all things. I hope that's an encouragement to you today. We look forward to talking to you later. Have an awesome day.